I actually married my husband in 1954. At first, we went with racehorses for part of the year. Then we came back to Bay Valley and been here ever since. We are a diversified farm and ranch. We, we operate irrigated farmland. The, our irrigating water comes out of the Arkansas River through a canal system. For most of our past, we have flood irrigated fields out of open ditches. We've tried to get to the point where we're more efficient. We started out with underground pipelines and gated pipe and now we're trying to convert 100% to pivot irrigation. Um, it's really hard because the margins are so tight. So what we have done is we, every winter, try to buy a used pivot sprinkler from somewhere off out of the country, and we reinstall and put those pivot sprinklers up ourselves using our own labor. When we started trying to conserve and put place the conservation easement on the ranch, um, one of the first groups we worked with, besides Cattlemen's and Cattlemen's Ag Trust, was Audubon Rockies. And Audubon Rockies was pivotal. Allison Holloran in coming down and helping us getting started as far as designating some of the things that we potentially could do. We have done all natural grass-raised beef through Audubon's conservation ranching program. The beauty of that program is that we are trying to have a working cattle ranch and also promote all wildlife habitat. The beautiful thing about that, if we're focusing on Audubon's conservation ranching program, is birds are an indicator species. If we are doing things out here that promote bird habitat and allowing birds to thrive, every other species of wildlife, plants, insects, the soil, everything will benefit if birds are here. So we use birds as our indicator. If we have healthy, thriving species, we know that we have diversity in the whole system. And that also allows us to move into what we started with our carbon credit offset program. Through Ducks Unlimited and Billy Gasonia, Dr. Adam Chambers with the NRCS as a climate scientist, we began a pilot project several years ago and it's actually been used as the, the basis for Climate Action Reserve's grassland protocol. And that allows us to be able to offset other people's use of travel by using the carbon that is being stored in these grasslands. It hasn't changed how we operate. Even if we didn't have those programs in place, we would still be doing the same thing we're doing. But it benefits everybody because we can work cooperatively and the things we're doing here can help other people in some of the goals they have. Through the carbon offset program, we're able to truly conserve carbon and get it down in the roots where it will stay there until it's plowed up, which with the conservation easement that we have, is not gonna happen. And that's what's so fantastic. You know, nothing is gonna come in here and release that carbon back into the atmosphere. And also the carbon is benefiting the soil and the plants that are growing. Our, our crop program is a rotational system we have corn wheat and we have the cover crops we have sorghum forage sorghum i should say um, and we try to keep that in a constant rotation again to maintain our soil health and to build our soil profile more so that we're we're limiting ourselves against insects that are damaging to different crops and i feel like each crop adds something or takes something away from the soil that another one doesn't so if we can keep that rotation going, it's highly beneficial as far as yield and soil health. Our farming and our ranching go hand in hand to work together. We bring a few cows in every morning that we're gonna brand or process, whatever it may be. We'd like to do it slow and easy. We like to do it early in the morning when it's cool in the summertime. So it's easy on the cattle and the cows and it's slow stress for them. We do it multiple days rather than one big bunch in a single day and get as many as we can and we like to do that so if we have something go wrong it's easy to quit and come back to it instead of forcing things to work. There's just a lot of practices that that um, we are doing. We, we value the, 
the future of our Earth as well. Whatever it is, if it's you know climate change or or drought or you know the carbon offput, we want to to help that. We want to to preserve it for future generations, not just for our family, but for for everyone. To me, preserving this and making sure that it's available for anybody that wants to live this lifestyle is important. Somebody has to protect it so that. 200 years from now, if somebody wants to live this lifestyle, they have that option. I mean, my whole life I've spent on this farm and ranch, and I know that that's a blessing because a lot of people don't get that opportunity. That's a huge part of the reason for me that I think conservation is so important is because these type of places are diminishing, and I've seen the value that that was for me through my whole childhood coming up. I mean, this is a refuge here, and we get to come and enjoy it. And I hope to be able to instill that in my boys and my nieces and nephews too, that there is so much to offer by just enjoying this simple thing that's here, that even though it seems simple to be out here on it, the complexity of what it takes to keep it here is astounding. And we need to realize that there's not not as much out there as we think there is. Just to be able to to see our children and now our grandchildren and it, it's um, know that they're gonna, we're instilling those values and they're gonna pass them on for, for many generations to come is very rewarding.